Hi, I'm Andy Webb from BeCleverWithYourCash.com. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make sure you get those top Amazon Lightning deals. So there were always offers on Amazon, often low prices, not always the low prices. You have to be really careful about just thinking Amazon's gonna be the cheapest. And no more so when you have these big offers like Prime Day, like Black Friday. Uh, one of the ways that they try and get you to spend money is something called lightning deals. This idea of these deals count down, you've got to get them before they go. All those kind of nudges to make you buy something rather than think about it too much. Now, sometimes these can be good deals. Okay, sometimes there are some very, very low prices. And if I see something that I need as a lightning deal, um, I can be hopefully, you know, be saving myself a fair amount of cash. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take you through step by step, kind of how they are, what they work, but the ways that you can make sure you get them before somebody else. So here's the Amazon homepage, and it's a little bit different to normal because it is the Black Friday week, so there are lots and lots of promotions, it's really pushing that pretty high. Um, but you can always find uh, these kind of special promotions, these daily promotions, uh, up in this top bar here. At the moment it's this Black Friday sale, normally it would say something like today's deals. If it's Prime Day, it would say Prime Day deals. Um, but that's where you kind of want to go to try and find these special offers. Now, you'll notice also Black Friday is bigger than all the others, but it follows the same pattern to normal Amazon uh, promotions and especially those lightning deals. But you've got these deals at the top, the hero deals. That's what they call them. The idea is these are the big headliners, these are the big ones. And if it is a big long sale like Black Friday, or sometimes they have promotions that last the whole week, just you know, any time in the year, focusing, I don't know, on gardening or whatever, you will find some offers along the top. And these are only limited really by stock. And in fact, often when they run out of stock, you can still buy them at this price. It just might take you a while to get hold of them. Below that, you get the deal of the day. And these are only gonna run for 24 hours, for that calendar day. Um, but again, you should be able to get hold of them unless there is a real rush on them and the stock does completely go. Uh, you should be able to get them all day. So there's less of a rush to get those. There's less pressure to get them. But there is also something else called the lightning deal, okay? Uh, and there are two ways to get to the lightning deal. You can see at the top here, one of these little button filters says lightning deals. Or if you scroll down the side, you can find type of deal, deal type. You've got the deal of the day that I was telling you about. Other extra things like vouchers, savings and sales. Uh, prime early access deals, I'll get to that in a minute. But here are those lightning deals. So if I click that, it will bring up all the lightning deals. So what is a lightning deal? Now a lightning deal is one which has very limited stock for a limited amount of time. Uh, and they don't start all day. So wherever those deal of the days, they're available pretty much from you know midnight. Um, these ones will be released as the day goes on. And okay, yeah, it's Black Friday, so there's more than normal, but you can just see, look at that, scroll down, look how many of these deals there are. So, so many. And that 25 here, that page 25, that's not even the last one. There'll be more of those. Um, and it can be a bit overwhelming to go through all of these. So I'll, sh I'll show you how to filter those down in a bit. But let me just explain to you a little bit how they work. So when a deal goes live, and these ones at the top are pretty much gonna be the most recent ones. Uh, you can see here, uh, this glass tan card here from uh, LSA International saying it's 50% off. 44% of those available have been claimed. So we don't know how many are available, so you don't quite know if that means there are, you know, 500 have gone uh, out of around 1,000, uh, or does it mean there are actually, you know, five, nearly five have gone out of 10? You don't even quite know with these deals. But the point is, if it's there and it's available, it hasn't, you know, the little bar hasn't gone all the way across, you hit add to basket, and then you've got 15 minutes to buy it. If you don't buy it in that 15 minutes, it goes back on sale. And you might be seeing, looking at these thinking, well, what's the problem here? Look, you know, pretty easy, isn't it? No one's really buying these. But as I say, there are lots and lots of them. And when they do sell out, like this one here, again, that's not been live for very long at all, 100% uh, claimed, well, you can't do anything. And not only here, look at this button here, it says wait list full, the wait list, okay? Now that's really an interesting thing, it's a wait list. So if it is sold out, if you have missed out, you want something, and you ideally you want to be able to add to the wait list. And you can't do it there, but bizarrely, look at this, right? Could this toilet roll holder, <laughs> well, that has all of those 100% have been claimed. Okay, so you can join the wait list. You're now on the wait list for this item. So like I said, you've, so you've got 15 minutes to buy it. If someone's added it to their basket and haven't paid for it in 15 minutes, it goes on to, uh, it goes back on sale, but it goes to people on the wait list. So you might have to sort of wait around. You might not be first on that wait list. Um, but again, if that person who's on the wait list doesn't 
see their notification, doesn't know it's happening, they might miss out. So I'm currently on the wait list now for this toilet roll holder. I don't want it, but let's see what happens anyway. Uh, so, so that's where we are with uh, the basic lightning deals. Uh, and you see there are so, so many of them, aren't there? How do you even kind of, I mean, you could just spend hours, and I have done this before uh, for the blog, gone through these, trying to find these top deals, and it was just kind of like soul destroying because there were just so, so many of them. Look at that, it just goes on, and so many random different things as well. Well, that's where these filters on the side come in pretty useful. So you can, if you want, just look for certain items. Uh, I don't know, let's say you want to look in lighting. You see what happens there, open it up, and it shows you not the active deals just in lighting in lighting so you kind of a bit easier if you define stuff um, quite a few lighting deals actually as it goes through quite a lot and then when you get down here you notice a few other things you start noticing these prime early access deals so you can't actually get these ones now so that the most that's one of the most recent ones I guess uh, but these ones you can't get it right now and also what's interesting here actually going back a little bit you can see that some of the, these deals end like in this one ends in two and a half hours. You know, those first ones we looked at on that homepage, they had like 14 hours or something on. This one only has two and a half hours. So some of them are only available for a quite short amount of time as well. They can go very quickly, uh, not just in stock, but in how long you've got to get them. Anyway, let's go back to this. So now this is interesting, right? So you've got the Prime Early Access deal. Basically what this means, if you have Amazon Prime, you get 30 minutes head start on these offers. So if something is a really, really top deal, really good deal, and particularly on those things like Prime Day and Black Friday, where there will be some better promotions. They're not all going to be good. A lot of these things you're seeing here probably won't be that much cheaper than normal, but I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, if you're a Prime member, you get an extra half hour head start to get hold of one. Really, really increases your chance of getting it if it's a really strong deal. So let me show you how you can kind of uh, quickly find that. I'll come out of lighting so we get all the lightning deals back on. Scroll back down here and availability. Now, if we get rid of active, all we've got left is upcoming. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, what's interesting, you see this one here, this starts in one minute, this laptop sleeve, okay? And if I watch this deal, I've got a few different things here. I scroll to the bottom, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep on scrolling, and it'll tell me deals you're watching. Okay, so here we go that I'm watching this uh, particular laptop sleeve. So it helps me find it rather than have to scroll through all the things again. Now I've got 37 seconds left before this becomes uh, available. So let me scroll back up because it's really interesting. So you think, often you think, oh, what do I do, right? Do I have to refresh it when it goes live? Do I have to go to the page? Does it disappear? What will happen instead in 22 seconds time is this deal is going to go live straight away on this page. There's no faffing around. You don't have to refresh anything. It will just be there straight away and you can get it there and then you can add it to your basket. Now, like I said, once you've got it in your basket, you've got 15 minutes to buy it. Okay, so that one I think it's kind of a uh, when you can do your research, when you can check your prices. Here we go, zero, see options, right. Click through, see options, it opens it up. A bit different here, I can change, choose my color, add to basket. That is now in my basket at that reduced price. Now, obviously, you don't actually see the price until the deal becomes live, which is why I was saying you can't really do your research on uh, whether it's a good deal or not until it's live. But if you've got it in your basket, okay, it's there, ready to go, that's when you can uh, find out if it's any good or not. So let's do that quickly and we'll come back to some other stuff in a minute. So here's a little trick I use. You see this little bit of code? If I go to the URL and I highlight that there, that is the product code for this item. And if I go into this website, it's called Camel Camel Camel, right? So it's uk.camel camel camel. How many camels? Three camels.com. And here you can enter in any kind of keywords, whatever. But here I'm putting in that product code that I took out of the URL. And this will bring up for me the price history for that very item. So we can see, right, Amazon haven't sold it themselves. Um, it is just from a third party. So that's the blue line. If Amazon does sell it, you'll be able to tick a box here and get a green line as well. And this is the, the price history going back uh, to, well, this is all time. So actually it's only going back around a year so you can reduce it up here I can look at six months price history three months uh, one month and you see price hasn't even changed at all it's been 14.99 for the last six months uh, a year ago so around Black Friday it went down to 13 quid what you don't see here are some of these things like the lightning deals and special offers only for prime members is generally what you see here are the, the going prices and um, that are available uh, and often they go back further than just that one year but anyway so we know 
that this price though, the general selling price, the lowest price ever has been 12.99 and we know that the average price is 16.86, but also we know since May it's been 14.99. So let's go back to that deal and how much it was. How what's it saying in my basket? How much is it putting it uh, through for? I didn't quite check that. Uh, it's saying 11.99. So that's actually a really good price. 11.99. Uh, if you want that, if that's something that you need, that's a really, really, really low price. So bargain, right? If I need that bag, that's the one I want or it does the job I need and it is a price that is great. Fantastic. Of course, you should compare it against other models just because it's the lowest price for that model uh, doesn't mean there isn't an equivalent which is cheaper. But you know, you can use Camel, Camel, Camel uh, for that as well or other price searches to just do a quick look what else is going on. Okay, one more thing I want to talk to you about in terms of watching those deals and making sure you know when they're going to happen. Yes, it's great to, to have those things where you put watch this deal, right? So let's say let's say this Tonka truck, yeah? I want to perhaps see what the price is at. That's something I might be after. Let's hit watching. Yep, great. It'll appear down the bottom. So perfect. I can keep track of the things I'm watching. But it doesn't start for an hour and a half. It's 11.05 a.m. This is going to kick off. Well, I, I'll be doing other stuff like that. I'm not going to sit here constantly waiting for the countdown for an hour and a half. So what I'll do is I will make a note on my phone. Very simple, put an alarm to pop up just beforehand so I know to get online, open up my page and get ready for it to do, like I said before, where it will change from uh, watch this deal from upcoming, uh, that countdown the clock that ticks down will become live and you can add it to your basket and then say, do your research on the price. Okay, so there you go. Some of the key things to think about here. One, to get that early access if you can, you need to be an Amazon Prime Member, now this is £79 for a year at the moment. You can pay monthly, £7.99 a month. That's not too bad if you're only gonna be after some of those big sales uh, that are going on, because you get extra things like you get free delivery, you also get access to the movies, and the TV, and other extra bits and pieces, uh, and sometimes some special promotions. So you might be worth paying for that just when you want to use Amazon, if you're gonna use it enough. Or if you've not used it at all, or someone in your household hasn't used it before, you can get a 30 day free trial. Okay, so I put links to those in the notes with this video. And that 30 day free trial means you can get all these benefits and it won't cost you a thing. So that's the main thing. If you have an Amazon Prime membership, whether it's a trial, whether it's just month by month, whether it's for a year, you get 30 minutes head start to get those deals. But you also can give yourself an extra head start by looking ahead. Look at those upcoming offers and either watching them okay or put in a note in your phone to remember to grab them as soon as they go live and when they are be ready with that deal on that page ticking through you don't have to go to the practical page itself be on that lightning deals page clicking through it hit add to basket then straight away add it to the basket if it's something you're interested in you've got 15 minutes to do your research on the price using things like camel 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 or just general price search on similar products at amazon and elsewhere don't forget other places might be selling something or the same thing for less but that 15 minutes gives you enough time to work out if it's the right thing for you and obviously it's worth making sure that it's any good as well check the reviews not just on amazon because they can sometimes be a bit dodgy but maybe see if there's any independent reviews out on the web see what people think about the product is it the right thing for you okay there are some great things to do and if you have missed out and it has already sold out join that wait list and just be there prepared ready in case someone doesn't buy it because they decide not to you've got say a good chance of it coming back on offer but be ready straight away to click that button if there's something that you want but I guess the biggest thing here I've talked about obviously making sure that the reviews are good uh, making sure that it's a good price compared to the price history and people selling it elsewhere but above all and this is the biggest thing with anything you buy but predominantly these deals which as I say do really try to kind of nudge you and push you into getting it now before it disappears is do you need it do you want it? Can you afford it? They're really, really important questions. But whenever we have these sales that are going on, there is that sense of getting caught up in the frenzy of getting stuff. This, the idea I'm addicted to getting bargains. Okay, I've had to calm down a little bit myself over the years. The more I do this in my job with the blog and the videos, uh, the more aware I am of that kind of that uh, impulse I have when something's like a deal or a bargain to get it. Um, and not necessarily then end up using it. So you've got to be really sure that if you are going to spend money on something, uh, when it's a special offer, when it's a sale, you're not just doing it because it's a special offer, because it's a sale, it's something you are going to use, um, whether you need it or want it or whatever, you've got to make sure that it doesn't just sit there in a corner in a box. Because no matter how much money you've saved during a price promotion with a lightning deal or whatever deal it is, uh, it actually you've wasted it if you're not using it at all. Do remember to like, subscribe, 
Uh, share this video. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear how what you do. Do you use uh, Amazon? How much? Uh, any other tricks that you've got for saving money on those lightning deals? Uh, as ever, I'd uh, love to hear that stuff. Till next time, cheers.